Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Glad to see you here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live boxy trivia show. And as always, Jenna Weaver here with you guys. And I'm well, definitely delighted to have you here because this game has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. So tonight, you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing our grand prize. Well, 1,500 British pounds. Hey, hey guys, glad to see you here. Happy to see you guys. So let's dive into the rules. As usual, 15 questions, four possible options, A, B, C, D, and only one of them being the right option, of course. So if you manage to answer correctly in a given time, you can be able to take a step closer to equally shared grand prize, 1,500 British pounds. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So if you choose 50-50, of course, we're going to be removing two of the incorrect answers. And if you choose ask the audience, you're going to be seeing what other players are choosing for the answer. So you know the rules. Let's play Who Wants to be Millionaire? All right, ladies and gents, hope you're ready. Let's begin our show. Here comes the first question. Good luck. Which country calls itself Tuomi? Poland, Finland, Czechia, or Bulgaria? A, B, C, or D. What are you thinking there? Well, ladies and gents, time to find out the first correct answer is Finland. It's B. So here we have 227 players answering correctly and surely taking a step, step closer to that grand prize. Which city hosted the 2016 Summer Olympics? A. Buenos Aires, B. Rio de Janeiro, C. Atlanta or D. Sydney? Any idea guys? Well, I, I think more would be quite easy one to answer if you are fan of Summer Olympics for sure. Ladies and gents, the 2016 Summer Olympics was hosted in Rio de Janeiro, all out to Brazil. So yeah, 216 players answering correctly. Let's go. In which decade was the skateboard invented? 1950s, 1960s, 1970s or 1980s? All final seconds to get that right. Ladies and gents, the correct answer to the third question is... It's A. Skateboard was invented in 1950s. So we have 199 players moving to the next question. Let's do this. Which of these cities is not in France? Toulouse, Nice, Marseille or Florence? A, B, C, D. What do you think is your final answer? Well, time is up for sure, answers are locked in. So let's find out how you did on the fourth question. So the correct answer is D, Florence is not in France, it's actually in Italy. So congratulations those who got it correctly. All right guys, time to move on. The Brexit referendum took place in which year? 2015, 2016, 2017 or 2018? Well, quite quite recent I went for sure which of these years was it all right ladies and gents the correct answer to the fifth question well the brexit referendum took place in 2016 and good job actually quite a lot of you answered correctly to this question too so ladies and gents don't forget if you still have those lifelines feel free to use them 50 50 or ask the audience let's go John Constable's paintings are most associated with which English county? Kent, Oxfordshire, Woodbridge, or Suffolk? A, B, C, or D? Well, if you're from England, <laughs> might not be that hard, uh, that hard to find the correct answer, I believe. So, ladies and gents, the correct answer is D, it was Suffolk. 
Congratulations, 178 players still fighting for that grand prize. Equally shared, 1,500 British pounds. So which fictional character lives in Pudleby on the Marsh? Bertie Wooster, Ursula Cambridge, Dr. Doolittle, or Eva? A, B, C, or D? Is that your final answer? Well, I would use a lifeline on this one, but let's see if you got it right. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is C, was Dr. Dodal. Congratulations, guys. We have 157 players answering correctly. Well, halfway there, let's go. Eighth question. Where was Vincent Van Hawk living when he cut off his ear? Arles, Brussels, Paris, or Zandert? A, B, C, well, a very specific time on Vincent Van Gogh's uh, life, and seems like he was living in Arles at that point. So, ladies and gents, congratulations! A is the correct answer. Well, let's move on. Ninth question coming in. In which city would you find Scotland's oldest university, founded in 1413? Edinburgh. Dundee, St. Andrews, or Glasgow? Well, the oldest Scotland's university. Well, actually, it was already um, kind of open from 1910th, but officially founded in 1913. It was St. Andrews. So, C is the correct answer, guys. Congratulations, does you got it right. Let's move on. Send question. In which of the Queen's, uh, sorry, which of the Queen's grandchildren married a former England rugby international? Zara, Beatrice, Louise, or Autumn? CD? Ah, uh, you have an idea, Blair. Well, we're about to find out if you got it right. Let's have a look. The correct answer is actually it was A, Zara. Uh, congratulations, guys. 112. Actually, those who uh, answered correctly to the previous question also got this one right. Well, guys, if you still have those lifelines, don't forget to use them. Let's go. 11th question. Winston Churchill was, the, was first elected to Parliament in which year? 19,000, 1905, 1910th, or 1911th? Which of these four years Winston Churchill was first elected to Parliament? Well, ladies and gents, let's find out. The correct answer is A, 19,000. So congratulations, guys. 105 players moving forward, fighting for the equally shared grand prize, 1,500 British pounds. Let's go. In Groundhog Day, Bill Murray's character wakes up to what song? A. Unchained Melody B. Mr. Tambourine Man C. I Got You Babe or D. Can't Help Myself Well, definitely familiar songs, guys, but which one of these was in Groundhog Day when Bill Murray character wakes up? Well, ladies and gents, it is C. I Got You Babe <laughs> Congratulations, 104 players Got it for sure Well, now just three questions away So let's do this, guys which composer was known as the father of the symphony? Haydn, Monteverdi, Mozart, or Schubert? A, B, C, or D? A little bit of music question for you guys. So, which one of these great composers was the father of the symphony? And it seems like it was Hayden. Congratulations! A is the correct answer, and actually the same amount which correct uh, got a correct answer to the previous version also moves forward. All right, Edward Jenner created the world's first vaccine against which disease? A smallpox, B measles, C mumps, or D Ebola. All right, guys, time is for sure off. Let's find out the correct answer to the 14th question is... It was A, small, uh, smallpox. Edward Jenner created the first vaccine to smallpox. Well, guys, are you ready for the final question? If you still have those lifelines, now it's time to use them. Let's go, 15th question of the show. 
Barry Bonds has hit the most home runs in a single season in 2001. How many? A. 73 B. 68 C. 77 or D. 95 Is that your final answer? So, ladies and gents, Barry Bonds hit how many runs? In season 2001, it was 73 runs. Ladies and gents, A is the correct answer. And look at that, we have 98 lucky winners, equally sharing run prize of 1,500 British pounds here on Foxy. Who wants to be more there? My previous show. Well, my compliments to every single one of you, ladies and gents. A good job. I really hope you had some fun. Well, once again, Genevieve is my name. Enjoy your winning, ladies and gents. I'm pretty sure have some more fun uh, tonight on a uh, well as well on our uh, stay here. So ladies and gents, thank you so much once again. And I definitely can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much. See you around. Good night.